shouldn't you be getting ready? I'm not going in today. I don't feel up to it. This is about that couple at the funeral, isn't it? What couple? Well, the ones who insulted you. Mm, no. Look, if they can't accept you for who you are... Right, then... I've already said it's not about that. Why does everybody keep having to bring up Harold? I wasn't. It's all in the past. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry, it's just that so many things I want to say to her and ask her. And I can't now. So unfair. Yes. Well, perhaps you're right. Perhaps you take the day off. Give yourself time to, to come to terms. I'd best get on. The holidays are over now, and I've not been anywhere. I took you shopping last week. You know what I mean. Life's tough, isn't it? Here, get yourself some chips for your dinner. From calf mine, not Donna's. A <laughs> kids, eh? <laughs> it's me, me, me. Oh. And I wonder where he gets that from. Hmm? Hey, don't you be delivering papers? Yes? Oh, look, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd cook cock a van for dinner tonight. It was only yesterday we had steaks. I know, well, there's nothing wrong in treating ourselves. And, uh, besides, there's something important I, I want to talk to you about. Oh, I see. Well, if it's about the rent, I... It's not about the rent. I'm not trying to curry favour. I just thought a, a nice meal, a, a bottle of wine, would provide, you know, the conducive atmosphere. Conducive to what? Well, to talking about what, what I want to talk about. Which is? Well, I shall tell you tonight, eh? eh? What are you doing? Making a, a water saving device for the toilets. Right. So, um, how's Ailey now? Oh, uh, still very upset. Well, sometimes it's not till after someone's died you realise how much they meant to you. Well, oh, that's, that's very true. You should appreciate them more, done stuff for them, but by then it's too late, innit? You, you've had a bereavement? Yeah. I was only a kid. Oh, it's terrible. Still, that's the trouble with hamsters, innit? It's too easy to forget to feed them. Three weeks to bail your mum out? Anyone who thinks you'd robbed a bank, not nicked a pair of flaming flip-flops? She was traumatised. She needed someone to lean on. Yeah, well, you would after the amount of sangria she knocks back. Oh, you weren't there. You sent me a picture on your mobile. Or were you too drunk to remember? Look, she's my man. I know, I just... I missed you, that's all. I missed you too. Come here. Ty, great to have you back, mate. Did you get your man out of jail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Well, this calls for a celebration. Why don't you two get yourselves over to the restaurant at lunchtime, eh? No, I'm a bit jet-lagged, actually. <laughs> Come on, you've only been to Spain. Don't you worry, mate, it's on me. Well, I can pay me on way, thanks. Well, great, it's settled then, eh? Say 12 o'clock, I'll save you a table. Yeah. I'll save you a table. Anyone would think he owns a place. He really does. Well, part of it, anyway. He's gone in with the app. <laughs> Shouldn't you be at work? I ran Boris took the day off. Finished the sleep? Yeah. Good. Can eat this in peace. Now come on, sit down. You don't have to do this, you know. It's only breakfast. You know what I mean. Being so nice to me. I'm not going to go off again. And I'm not going to take you for granted again. Now shut up and eat. You're not dashing off after this, then? No. So, if we wanted to, We'll go back to bed. Oh, we could, yeah. Good. Eat up then. Surprise! Oh, Ooh, sorry. <gasps> sorry. Here you are. I'll oh, bring you this. Thanks. Ooh, so is that then? Oh, it's just somebody from the past. Isn't hey, let's it? have a look. He's quite cute, he is. I could go for him if you're a few years older. Everything has to come down to that with you, Donald. You've no shame. Sorry, I was only trying to make conversation. Forget I spoke. Enjoy your cake. Hello, 
They are, you know, they're like three owls perched on that bow. <laughs> Who's this? Norris and his maid. They sat there, heads swivelling this way and that. Who said the women were the gossips? A man. <laughs> the usual Emily, is Yes, it? please. Didn't they all marry the same woman? Oh, yes. Very dubious taste, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I hear, Norris is about to get married again. No! no. Oh, surely not. He'd have said something. <laughs> well, his friends told me in front of him and he never denied it. Well, who's he marrying? They don't know. Apparently, it's a state secret until he actually asks her. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> see ya. Well, my heart goes out to her, whoever she is. <laughs> You're right, Emily. Where's Roy? I've gone to buy some recycled toilet paper. I'm sorry for snapping at you. You didn't deserve that. No, I didn't. It's just I'm in a bit of a state and then... Um, well, I shouldn't have taken it out on you. It's all right. So when you say he was from the past, is he dead? In a way, yeah. How can you be dead in a way? It was Harold. You mean that was you before you had the gender reassignment? Yeah. Oh, so in a way, I was saying I could go for you. Oh, no wonder you were mad. No, oh, no, I. Oh, Ailey. Ailey, hang on. Ailey? Go away! I'm sorry, I was only joking. Yeah, well, it's not funny! I know! It never was funny! I'm not that boy and I never was! Do you understand? Yes! I won't be reminded of it on once! Ailey? <laughs> oh, no, please don't cry. Oh, I am so sorry. It was stupid of me. I didn't mean to upset you. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Me and my big gob. Do you want me to go? Yeah, I'll go. I've got a son. What? I've just found out I've got a son. <laughs> We should go for walks more often. Should I lie in more often? Yeah. What are you doing? I just want the day to ourselves. I don't want anyone else spoiling it. Just let's go for some lunch somewhere, eh? Trouble is, I'd feel terrible. Besides, I misjudge you. I probably misjudge her as well. It's best if we sort things out. Come on. Casey! Right. Close the cafe for a bit. You can't do that. Of course I can. Well, Roy'll go mad. Hey, what Roy don't know won't hurt him. Take it he don't know this then either. So how did you find out? There were some old letters in the bottom of that jewellery box, addressed to Harold Patterson. From this lad, wanting to meet his father. You mean you? That's the first you knew of it. Well, my auntie Monica had obviously read them, but she, she didn't pass them on. That's awful. Well, I suppose she was trying to protect me. So he's grown up now, is he? In his twenties. <laughs> when I think that all those years and I never knew. knew this baby and then this toddler and this teenager. And it's all I ever wanted. And I missed it all. Look, I'm sorry about the other day. Oh, forget it. What matters is you two have sorted things out. I take it you are back together then? Yeah. Oh, I'm so pleased for you, Rob. <laughs> Here, your coffee. Ta. Why don't you stay and have a bit of lunch? I'm sure Casey's got stuff to do. No, actually. It's my day off, so I'd love to. We've got loads of catching up to do. <laughs> so what about his mum? She's dead, apparently. Oh, sorry. You know... 
If you'd rather not talk about no, it. No, no, it's, it's just that I find it a bit odd thinking back to those days. It's like, it's like I want somebody else, somebody I once knew, and, and suddenly I'm being reminded that he's, that he's me. It must be weird. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean no, like no, that. No, it is to most people. Still, a son, eh? I mean, <laughs> flipping neck. I, I know what you're saying, but party, you must be made up. Yeah. Well, part of me just wants to find him and throw my arms around him, <laughs> but I can't, can I? Why not, if he wants to meet you? Well, what would he say? It's not going to be I, your dad, is it? OK, so he might be a bit thrown. All right, a lot thrown, but, you know, he'll get over it. Would you? I don't know, but you've got to give him a chance, Ailes. Royal say the same. You'll see. What? Oh, you are going to tell him? I don't know. I thought you two didn't do secrets. That's just the trouble. What is? It don't matter. <sighs> Look, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine, cos... I know I'm a stupid gobby cow who always says the wrong thing. No. But, no, I do care about you, Ailes. You are the nearest thing I've got to a mate. We are mates. Well, then. It, it's just it's a bit personal, that's all. I don't blush easily. <laughs> you should know that by now. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> so drunk. What about Jack's speech? Oh, what, the X, Y, Z? <laughs> the what? <laughs> oh, you had to be there. Hey, have you shown him any of the flats yet? No, we haven't had a chance, actually. What flats? You know, we went to look around some flats while you were away. Paul said he was going to drive me around, remember? Hey, I tell you what, she's a hard woman to please. We must have seen, what, 20? <laughs> Give over! There was one I really liked, actually, though. We'll go look tomorrow. Oh, which one was that? You know, the one with the strip floorboards. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I like that one as well. You'll love it. Right, I'll leave you two lovely people to enjoy your meal. I'll see you later. Mm, this looks so good. He's such a good cook. Yeah, I'm not so keen on all this oily stuff, to be honest. When me and Roy finally did get together, well, it were a bit nerve-wracking for both of us. Roy had never, um... He'd never... You're a virgin? Yeah, you promise me you'll keep this to yourself, won't you? Of course I will! Roy finds out Ailey, I'm not a total idiot. Go on. Well, I, I told him that I was too. It's fair do, as I suppose you were, as a woman. Well, exactly, but I told him that Harold was as well. And I know it was a lie, but he was so nervous and I wanted to reassure him and... And I suppose a part of me just didn't want to think about that other night. I didn't want it to have anything to do with that, was... Yeah, well, Roy will understand that. No, he won't. You know what he's like. For him, everything's black and white. You either tell the truth or you tell a lie. You either trust someone or you don't. And he did trust me. And it was a really special night for both of us. I know it must sound stupid to you. Nowadays, everybody jumps into bed with each other at drop of art. Yeah, hey, we're not having a go. Oh, no, no, I, did, no. I didn't mean that. No. No, you're right. No one's ever slept with me and God, it's special. You know, it sounds dead romantic. <sighs> Don't know about that. We were both terrified. <laughs> but it did bond us in a way that nothing else ever could. So, how can I tell him all this now? How can I tell him that we're all based on lies? Because that's how he'll see it. Becky! Oh, you promised me you'll keep this to yourself. Of course, of course I will. Cafe's shut. Well, am I not entitled to a lunch break? Not when I've got a cafe well, full of... Well, then how else am I supposed to get one? Stuck here on my own. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I was just chatting, that's all. Yeah, while well, I had my lunch. So, did you get your toilet rolls? Yes, yes. Great. Well, you and Lord, now I'll open up. Right. <laughs> Flirting with me in front of my daughter, it were embarrassing. Huh. Takes a lot more than that to embarrass you. You're as hard as nails. <laughs> Talking of which, I need pliers for these. They're like flaming claws. Anyway. You're not going to it roll again. No, I reckon our next outing should be somewhere more... exotic. I'm not taking you to any pole dancing club so you can forget it. I agree. So how about Las Vegas? <gasps> You're having me on. No. 
Here, take a look. Who the ex Sylvia Frogstaff? She's my last carer. She walked out before I could use them. Can easily change it to your name, though. Hey, nice posh hotel. Five star. What do you say? Second of September? That's this Sunday. It's a bit short notice and I've got my son to think of. Fair enough. You can always ask one of the carers at the home. On the other hand, he's a big lad now and there's always cake. You'll go then? Yeah, <laughs> but separate rooms. Too right. You're dead lucky, you know. Two gorgeous kids. Nice house. Lovely husband. You'll meet someone soon. Someone special will make you really happy. Thought I had, actually. Really? Yeah. While you were away. You never said. I don't really remember. <laughs> oh, typical. They're never interested in all that stuff, are they? Now go on, tell me, what was he called? Don't matter now, does it? I thought I meant something to him, but... Turns out he was just passing the time. Oh, that's awful. Right, well, I best get started on tea. I'm invited to stay only, don't think we've got enough. I'm sure we can make it stretch. No, no, you're all right. I didn't realise the time. I might just make the bus if I run. You not got your car with you? No, it's at the garage. Oh, that should give you love to won't you? Yeah, of course. Well, if you're sure. Hmm. Have you had your hair done? Um, yes, but I didn't do it specially. Oh, never thought you did. Ah, you are hungry. Uh, more wine. Where are you going? To wash up. No, you can do that later. And besides, I, I, I told you that there's something I want to ask you. Look, Norris, before you start... Look, look do you mind? I, I have cooked the dinner. Well, I mean, the least you could do is listen to me. Go on, then. Oh. What do you feel about late marriages? Oh, I think they're ridiculous and uncalled for. I, for one, have no intention of remarrying. Not now, not ever, not to anyone. It, but you might feel differently if, if, if you met the right person. Oh, no, I wouldn't. No, no, no matter how much that person tried to persuade me. Oh, I think that's a pity. I mean, oh, personally, I... I'm a great admirer of marriage. I think it's a worthwhile institution and well worth another try. And I was hoping, well, you'd feel the same, but... Well, I don't. How much clearer can I be? All right. Keep your hair on. It's the last time I'll ask you for any support. Support? For what? Well, if you must know, I was planning on proposing to someone tomorrow and I was hoping you'd wish me well but obviously you don't oh I see <laughs> what oh, no, nothing <laughs> well thank you thank you very much thank you I thought I'd just help you clearing up. You can get off, Becky. No, it's all right. It's all right, I'm not in any rush. Go on, Roy. I know you're dying to set that thing up. We can manage. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> You'll have to tell him sooner or later, you know. Look at you. This is one of the best things that has ever happened to you, and you're tying yourself up in knots over it. Yeah, well, I wish it had never happened. I wish I'd never found out. You don't mean that. The whole thing's just a mess, and it's best forgotten about. Funny up, I've not got long. Why don't you come in? I knew you want to. I told you. It's over. Look, I know I've hurt you, and I'm sorry, but you've got to let this go. Even if it is over, I'm still Claire's friend. You can't stop me seeing her. No, but I'm asking you to. 
I don't even know how he can face it again after what we've done. It's hard enough for me. And what about what she's done? Stealing you off me? I was never yours to steal. Why can't you get that into your head? Now just leave us alone, will you? Can't just pretend it never happened. Why not? Because you can't, you daft bat. It's not something you can just shove to one side like that. It might not even be true. It could be a lie or some sort of mix-up. Yeah, but what if it isn't? Hales, you have at least got to find out. Did you hear that? Worked perfectly. Oh, good. I'm thinking of getting an eco-friendly toilet descaler. Apparently, it stops crystals from forming. Sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I'll, I'll go and have a look at the catalogue. I can't do it to him, Becky. Roy has to come first, not some person that I've never met. Yes, but this could be your kid we're talking about here, Rails. Your own flesh and blood. Do you think I don't know that? Do you think I'm not bursting to go after him? But I can't, can I? So please, don't make this any more difficult than it already is. Tomorrow. Here we are again. Hello, welcome to another charity special, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This is the show that scares the pants off even the calmest, <laughs> most self-assured celebrities. Millionaire has turned hardened war zone journalists into gibbering wrecks over the years, but all to make money for their favourite causes. Join Chris for more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Celebrity at 8.50.